Welcome to another edition of The Road to Phoenix. I'm Brian Jeffries with Ryan Hansen. We're in Salt Lake City getting set for the round of 32 Arizona and St. Mary's on a Saturday afternoon here in Salt Lake. Big game, big players. And we didn't see a lot of size against North Dakota. The Wildcats are going to see some size against St. Mary's. In your mind, is that where the matchup starts? Is that going to be the key part of this game? Well, it's going to be like the exact opposite of, of what they faced against North Dakota on Thursday. You saw pace, you saw tempo, you saw a lot of guards out there that were really dominating the basketball game and scoring for North Dakota in bunches, putting up over 80 points. St. Mary's is a lot slower, but they do it in similar ways in regards to just ball screen action. St. Mary's has some great bigs, maybe one of the best big men in the country, a traditional back to the basket low post score in Jock Landale. How Arizona defends him will probably dictate a lot of how Arizona plays. Wildcats are averaging 90 points a game in postseason play. That includes their games in Las Vegas, of course. Uh, St. Mary's gives up less than 60 on an average per season. And I'm not going to say that Arizona's offense has to score 90 in this ball game, but, but we've seen the efficiency Arizona has played with offensively. How do they attack this St. Mary's defense? We just heard from Sean Miller, St. Mary's is not going to beat itself. So you are right, Arizona's efficiency on the offensive end will be critical. I think they can break down St. Mary's defensively. When you look at them defensively, they're all about position defense. Arizona's got some quickness that could exploit St. Mary's. Alonzo Trier comes to mind. Parker Jackson, Cartwright, and Kadeem Allen can get into the lane. So those perimeter players for the Wildcats will have an opportunity to break St. Mary's down. Now, how they play from there on, are they going to drive to score, which is the optimal, or are they going to drive to kick out, and Arizona could have some three-point opportunities if St. Mary's doesn't rotate. But, boy, St. Mary's is so well-disciplined and well-coached. You can't expect them to break down. You have to beat them. All right, these teams haven't played in over 10 years, and yet they've scrimmaged one another in a private scrimmage just three times recently. So they know a little bit about one another. The coaches certainly have great respect for one another as well. Cats and Gales Saturday. The winner goes on to the Sweet 16.